Navratri is a time of the year that holds a special place in my heart. Growing up in a traditional Indian family, I've always been captivated by the rich cultural tapestry that is woven into this nine-night festival. As I sit here, I feel compelled to share the essence of Navratri and its profound significance, especially in embracing the Divine Feminine. The festival of Navratri, which means nine nights in Sanskrit, is a time of devotion and celebration dedicated to the Hindu goddess Durga and her various manifestations. Each night is dedicated to a different form of the goddess, and devotees come together to pray, dance, and celebrate. It's a vibrant and colorful spectacle that brings the community together. Navratri is more than just a religious ritual, it's a profound acknowledgement of the power and strength of the feminine divine. It's a reminder that the world is not just about the masculine energies of creation but also the nurturing, sustaining, and transformative aspects that the feminine embodies. In a world often dominated by male-centric ideologies, Navratri serves as a reminder that balance and harmony are essential. This celebration encourages us to embrace our own feminine side, regardless of our gender. It reminds us that sensitivity, compassion, and intuition are qualities that we should cherish and cultivate. As a young man, I've come to appreciate how important it is to connect with my own feminine aspects, to be in touch with my emotions, and to understand the strength that comes from nurturing and caring for others. The dances during Navratri, especially the Garba and Dandiya, are symbolic of this union of masculine and feminine energies. As we whirl around the dance floor, we become a part of a greater cosmic dance that represents the balance of these energies. Navratri is not just a tradition, it's a beautiful way of acknowledging the feminine divine that resides within us all. It teaches us that true strength lies in embracing both our masculine and feminine sides, and in doing so, we can create a world that is more harmonious and equitable. The Nine Nights of Navratri are not just a time for celebration, they are a reminder that the essence of the Goddess is within us all, encouraging us to honor, respect, and embrace the feminine in ourselves and in the world around us. During Navratri, I have found a unique way to connect with the Divine Feminine by dressing as a female during these nine auspicious nights. It's a choice that may raise eyebrows in some traditional circles, but for me, it's a deeply personal and empowering experience. Donning beautiful dresses, applying makeup, and embracing my feminine side during Navratri has become a tradition that I hold dear. It's a way of paying homage to the strength and beauty of the goddess Durga and the various forms she embodies. As I slip into these vibrant, colorful dresses, I feel a profound sense of connection to the divine, and it's a reminder that beauty and strength are not limited by gender. My makeup routine becomes a form of artistic expression, a way of celebrating the grace and charm that the feminine holds. The act of adorning myself in this way is a meditation in itself, a way of transcending the boundaries of gender and embracing the full spectrum of human experience. As I participate in the Garba and Dandia dances, I twirl and move with a newfound sense of freedom and confidence. I feel the feminine power coursing through my veins, and it's liberating. I realize that this experience is not about trying to be someone I'm not, it's about acknowledging and honoring the feminine energy that exists within me and in all of us. Navratri, with its celebration of the Divine Feminine, encourages us to step outside our comfort zones and explore aspects of ourselves that we may have suppressed or overlooked. It's a reminder that gender is not a limitation but a beautiful spectrum, and embracing both the masculine and feminine sides within us can lead to a more balanced and harmonious existence. In the end, my choice to dress as a female during Navratri is my way of paying tribute to the goddess and celebrating the multifaceted nature of the divine. It's a powerful and transformative experience that has deepened my connection to the festival, the goddess, and the enduring power of femininity. I've spent most of my career in a world that often values competitiveness, assertiveness, and traditionally masculine traits. However, my perspective on the importance of femininity in our culture has evolved over time, thanks in part to the lessons I've learned during Navratri. In the world of finance, success has typically been associated with traits such as ruthlessness, ambition, and unwavering determination. However, as I've grown both personally and professionally, I've come to realize that these qualities alone do not create a healthy or balanced environment. 
In fact, an overemphasis on these traits can lead to a culture that is cutthroat, exclusionary, and lacking empathy. Navratri, with its celebration of the Divine Feminine, serves as a poignant reminder that there is another way. It encourages us to recognize and appreciate qualities like compassion, nurturing, and collaboration. It highlights the importance of empathy, understanding, and patience in our interactions with others, both in our personal lives and in the workplace. The festival underscores that feminine qualities are not signs of weakness but rather sources of strength. The ability to connect on an emotional level, to listen with compassion, and to foster a sense of community are crucial in building a more inclusive and supportive culture. In finance and many other sectors, we need to embrace the feminine aspects of leadership and incorporate them into our decision-making processes. This shift can lead to more ethical, sustainable, and empathetic practices. The goddess Durga, in her many forms, symbolizes the power that comes from embracing both the masculine and feminine energies. Navratri encourages us to strike a balance in our lives and to foster a culture where feminine qualities are celebrated and valued alongside their masculine counterparts. By doing so, we can create a more harmonious and equitable world, both in our personal lives and within the financial industry, and recognize the power of femininity in shaping a better future for us all.